Okay, welcome back to Let's Play Firewatch. We found somebody. Oh, crap. I found a walkie talkie out here, too. Uh, okay. It's going shit house. We'll get it if you haven't already, and then we'll figure out whose it is. We'll do. That hurt. That might have been Henry, a better. Are you there? What happened, Henry? I. Holy hell, I just. I got hit in the head. Punched or something by someone. Are you serious? What the hell is going on out there? I don't know. Jesus Christ. <sighs> Let me get this straight. You found a clipboard with. What? Transcripts of our conversations? What else is on it? I don't know. It's gone, along with a radio of theirs. You know, somebody out here could have just killed me, Delilah. I don't... What the fuck is going on? What's Wapiti Station? I, I... I... I don't know. I saw the name Wapiti Station right before I was cold-cocked. Does Wapiti Station mean anything to you? Um... Uh, Wapiti Meadow. Maybe it's Wapiti Meadow. It's... It's on our maps. It's not too far from where you are right now. It's where you saw that damn fence. It's north of the lake. It, it looks like there should be a trail somewhere on the north shore of Jonesy Lake. I'll, uh, I'll start hiking that way now. God damn it, my head. Are you... Are you sure you saw what, what you saw, Henry? Maybe you pissed off some more campers and they came back to sucker punch you. Should have taken a picture. Oh, this just seems like a like a misunderstanding or something. Why would I make this up? It's an insane lie at worst, and a shitty prank at best. And you've been feeling okay? I feel fine. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I believe you, but that conversation was from two weeks ago. I know they were. So what's to say that they don't have transcripts from three, four, or five weeks ago? Our entire relationship, friendship, our... Our whole summer. Someone is out here with the walkie-talkie taking notes and talking to God knows who. I'll hike out there and get some answers. Great. But just keep a clear head. Don't, you know, do anything crazy. Like taking a job in the middle of nowhere with literally no escape from whatever or whoever is out there? Well, I meant, like, kill anybody. You got it, boss. Hey, who are these guys, Ron and Dave? They're leaving notes for each other in the boxes. Is there any chance that they had anything to do with those girls disappearing? No, they're both rangers. They're not out here this season. I didn't really know him that well, but I always assumed the only thing Ron cared about was chasing tail and getting loaded. That seems somehow good. comforting to know that he was able to keep up a correspondence with someone who wasn't going to send him a topless Polaroid. Okay, we're going to keep that. And we're going to copy this information. The fourth estate. You know, Black thought a trip to California would do him good. He'd soak up some sun, drive a comfortable convertible, maybe even. Fourth in entry in the Neil Black series. California is nothing but a dream. Landing after a murder in a first class is. Okay, cool. We're gonna drop it since we can't keep it. Come on, can you put me. Put it back in the supply cache. There. There's an old sweater which I can't do anything with. Okay. I don't want to go north. Okay, at this point I want to go east.
Is it that? Hello, rope hook. Okay, that looks like it could rub yep. a rope down to shivers. Okay. Where am I? Okay. This... Okay. That's, that's a sign. That's somebody leaving trail signs. Oops. Look away from the computer and... Go off the edge. I went to go check what time it was. Oh look, it's another fence. Okay, I'm at the fence. I don't see anyone around, but I'm not sure I can get past it. How big is it? Big. It goes off in both directions. Acres. But what the fuck is going on out here? Whatever it is, someone doesn't want anyone to know about it. Sometimes biologists will cordon off a little area to study flora or whatever, but... That's only a few square feet, usually. That's not what this is. <sighs> well, see what you can do to get past it. Looks like goddamn Area 51. Maybe they've got aliens. That'd be exciting. Yeah, oh. We'll see about that. I'm really hoping this isn't something super... Ooh, a gate. And what are the odds they left the gate unlocked? Pretty low, I'd imagine. Locked gate. 1863. Can we do anything with the gate? With the lock? Oh, hello. Come on. That's perfect place to climb. Hello. Look, I'm not going to be able to get into this place. Oh, shit. I, I don't know how long I can dick around out here until someone notices. God, if you were an actual firefighter, you'd have that gate down in two shakes. Hey, actually, those guys doing the control burn, they might be able to help. Where are they? Beyond Ruby River, there's a scout camp. They burned a line a few days ago that should let you hike right to them. Well, that's great. If they haven't left, they're probably the type of guys who would help you get through that fence. Okay. Look for controlled burn south of Ruby River. Ruby River, and remember, problem bear is way the hell over there. Scout camp, okay. Let's do some jogging. Come on. There we go. <laughs> Up we go. Boy, I cannot do this. I am in pitiful shape. This guy's in really good shape. goes off to route to Jonesy Lake I think where am I oh yeah okay cool so do some jogging let's jog over the precarious bridge thing here trail sign if you stop you stop jogging that's actually pretty cool as detail <clears throat> Surprised we never had any police show up to come caught I ask. They probably just Oh, 
east of the lake. I'm wandering around east of the lake. Which way is Ruby River? It's in the southeast corner of your map. The scout camp where the firefighters were staged should be on your map. It looks like a little triangle with a flat bottom. Yeah, it looks like a tent. How did I never see that before? Okay, where am I? Good, I'm going to the right place. Except for there's a lot of hill there. Um, I want to head back to the lookout and set, head south from there is what I want to do. I don't want to uh, go from... I want to go to shitty boss trying to get me killed hill. That's the wrong one. This is the one I want. Hey, I called around. I wish I had changed, didn't chose a else. different name. Should we call the cops or the forest service and, and let them know this is going on? Um, don't you think that would sound, you know, crazy? Should have caught in a picture of yeah, the clipboard. it is crazy. We have to tell someone. Tell them what? Henry, tell them we're being stalked and you were attacked and we don't have any proof? I don't know. Tell them we're being bothered or something. Henry, I really like this job, okay? And if I give off even a hint of cuckoo to my bosses, they are never going to let me come back out here. Do you understand that? All right. I'm headed toward the camp anyway. Okay. Yeah, proof is a necessity. Keep your radio close to you. Oh, by the way, you're very impressive. Hey, what well, you just said, keep my radio close to me. Yeah? Before I got attacked back at the lake, I saw a radio on the ground. Kind of like the one I use. And? Do you think that maybe someone was, you know, uh... I don't know. What? Maybe intercepting our frequency with other radios or something. Henry... It's just a thought. I, I don't even know how you would do that. Oh, this is yeah, pretty well, you simple. you sound worried. No, I'm not, okay? Let's not spin out of control. Just keep hiking. Whatever you say, boss. Yeah, that's pretty simple to do, from what I understand. Okay, there's the first cache we were ever part of. Okay. I know we don't know what's going on yet, but I don't have a good feeling. I don't like feeling vulnerable. It's not like you can just call the police. I was thinking about the Goodwins. It just struck me that if anything weird like this happened to them, happened to Brian, just how scared he would have been. He had his dad to protect him. Ned, right? Yeah. You don't think he could? No, you're, you're probably right. It, it was three years ago. He's in high school now. He's on summer break. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Hopefully. Or there is some psycho killer out here who picks people off that are vulnerable. I wonder why he doesn't pick more... The lookouts would be draw attention. Okay. I'm getting to where I want to be. Ah. Uh, phone went dead. Uh, I need to alter the amount of time my phone will remain active. Because it goes dark way too soon for my liking. Okay, where am I? Okay, I want to go a little bit e east, west actually. And now we're going to go off trails. Whoa, the flapjack fire isn't going anywhere, huh? No, that's why those guys came out to burn that line. It's at the stage where all we can do is pay attention to it. They're not gonna try to put it out? Not yet, apparently. This looks like Ruby River. Wait, wait is that the right direction for the flapjack fire? I guess it is. I thought it was in a different direction. Well, that's right. 
a PT station. There's two fences now. Okay. We got Ruby River. We want to go across. Ah! To the cache over there. Okay, cool. We're going to have to jump here, aren't we? Because we can't get our feet wet. I mean, it's not like it's a three inch. Okay, one of these times, one of these is going to be a different uh, combination. I'm going to copy down the map information. Look at the note. Really wish the powers of be could issue us radios that didn't suck ass. Most of the time I prefer to keep things pinned to paper. But every once in a while it would be nice to get a hold of you right away. My sister keeps leaving me messages at the main office, but I don't think she gets that I took the job so I wouldn't have to deal with her or mom. I've been sitting at the spot for a while now, thinking about what to say to her, but I'm a quarter away through a bottle of fifes instead. Miss you, Dave. Interesting. Um, we'll hold it. Okay. Toilet paper? Terminal 7. It's made, now a major motion picture starring Anders Nelson as Neil Black. The Accidental Survivor. John Russell knows that the president's life hangs in the balance, but who would believe him? Not just another James Bond. Can't take it with us. Jane Eyre! Okay. Jane Eyre is cool. Richard Sturt. This is going to be another best-selling Spectrum spy series. One chance to die is the... Neil Black is the South City's most effective but least known detective, SCPD officer. Okay, so this is going to be the first to do in the Neil Black things. Oh, the gun is a one. That's actually pretty clever. I like Jane Eyre. It was a little bit creepy, but... Okay, lots of books. Okay, let's look at the, what the map that gave us on the map. Okay, they gave us trails. Recent burn. I found where they did the controlled burn. I can hike right through here now. Yeah, normally they wouldn't do that so close to a body of water, but I think they're extra worried about a fire jumping the river and burning up to two forks now that there's someone in it. Well, I'm extra appreciative of that. Let's see. The scout camp is southeast of the river. There should be a pond on the way. Got it. What happens if a controlled burn gets out of control? Someone gets fired. Ugh, are you serious? Oh, come on. That one was an honest accident. I'm not even in the mood for wordplay. That's how wound up all this shit has me. There's some old snowmobiles out here. That's crazy. Looks like one of the poor bastards was cruising across this pond and dumped it. That was not a fun hike back to civilization. Uh, there's an old pond out here, not much more than a pile of mud. Uh, do, do you have it on your map? Ah, uh, yeah, I know where you are. Yeah, where am I? Pork Pond. There used to be a sign up for it, but, um, well, folks kept stealing it. Uh, because it's called Pork Pond. It's a good goddamn name. That sign would look great in a den. Or, you know, anywhere. Am I heading the right way? I appear to be heading the right way. Pork Pond. Lovely. I love the little notes. The music is very pretty, but to be honest, it gets creepier when the music shuts off. And my timer's about to go off again. Arapaho? Camp Arapaho. You're there? Yeah, I am. 
Scythe's been out there since the 50s. That's never really into the idea of the scouts. It's something about men organizing boys around their ideals. Or is that right with me? Beware of weebelos in large numbers. Beware of anyone in large numbers. The bridge to the camp is out. Damn. I'm gonna walk the ravine and see if I can find some high ground to get across. Good plan. Okay. Oh, that's what they meant by scout camp. Boy Scouts. Also, Camp Arapaho. It's like, I mean, there, there are quite a few of those around. Oh, hello. Oh, that's not where I'm gonna work. Can I get from here? Yes, I can. This is what this is uh, this is Washington or this is Wyoming so oh yeah this is even Boulder he's from Boulder you ever talked to any of the scouts no they haven't been out here in a while and I generally don't have a lot to say to preteens unless it's Brian Goodwin well if forced I mean I can make conversation with anyone plus it was sort of fun to hear about all of his nerdy hobbies what type of nerdy hobbies are we talking about with him? Like, a uh, marching band? Oh, no, 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 no. Like, comics, model rockets, wizards and wyverns, you know. Oh, oh come on. To Brian, I can almost recall by memory the armor classes of most dragons. D&D oh, is what? great. No, you can't. Hey, planar dragons armor class. Let's see. Okay, no, I believe you. We're good. We're good. Come on, that's cool. What well, is now? I think we're going to end the video on that part, and I'll come back to this later. I think I have enough time for one more before I get ready to go to work. I'll see you in a little bit.